I said something to, we'll call him Jerry Seinfeld one time, I, where I said, people don't even realize how good you are because you're like, I said he's like Derek Jeter or Tom Brady, where you just get to like luminary stage and people don't even know how hard, how funny Jerry is, how how good at baseball Jeter well, was. Because they good take it for granted. They just take it for granted. You just become like, like Mahomes at this point is getting there. Where I'm just like, oh, it's fucking Mahomes. It's great. Yeah. It's great. Keith Richards wrote an autobiography. I'm listening to it on tape because I refuse to read. and Or on audiobook. But he says, like, Rolling Stones, stadiums. He goes, the whole time I'm just thinking about riffs. Oh, just yeah, thinking yeah. about riffs. Yeah. And that's how I feel when yeah, I'm with yeah. somebody yeah. like you. You're just thinking about fucking... Uh, uh, if I, when I get... I get oh, yeah. Huh? It, it, all day yeah all, all day, day long yeah. jerry's not about to think about jokes tom brady's yeah. thinking about it just like you you're inclined to be that way and then you harness your entire life into that and it's got huge rewards on the other side as far as that category goes yes and no on the rewards the, to me the reward is the is the sense of accomplishment mm -hmm. that i get from doing these tricks which mm -hmm. is which is the dragon I've been chasing since I was 11 when I made up my first trick that no one cared about, but gave me something yeah. special. So that's, for me, that's the reward. Sure, there are other residual awards that are like- Monetary um, or whatever, yeah. Monetary or, or, oh, maybe I can use that clip for this project and, and yeah. that, that but, but that's, not, that's not the directive. With that in mind, how does that affect your inner monologue? If you know that what you just said, the satisfaction of like, Tony, you're a guy that if you set your mind to it, you can accomplish it. Does it affect your behavior or how you feel about yourself? Not as much. Don't you wish it would? Don't you wish it could be that clear? Like, no, you're great. You can, but you're still like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, but, but it, I would say like if I came back from skating and had failed a trick the entire time and not gotten it even up to five to ten years ago my day was ruined mm. i can't snap out of it like just, I'm, ugh, you know and, and and especially like my wife and my family like are you, like really like a skate trick that's that's we all have to suffer through um nowadays i can let it go how did that happen? Um, I, I finally just kind of got a sense of priorities. You know, I was able to to uh, keep not compartmentalize, but but just keep it separate and, and know that I can come back to it. And it's OK. And it doesn't mean everything. Here's the question. Are you worse at skating because of it? No. Really? No. I'm worse at skating because I broke of, my leg because of your, and yeah. my physical limitations now. Um, but no, I'm not at all. In fact, in fact, um, I would say... Uh, before I broke my leg, I was in my most one of my most creative streaks because of I, your life of my of my Age life forty eight or whatever. Well, because I um I was able to channel my creativity to a more low impact style of skating, so it wasn't about the big spins or the big big errors and stuff like that. It was more highly technical board maneuvering, you know, shove its flips, uh, doing things, but then coming in backwards. And all of a sudden, I just opened up all these new doorways, mm. and then I was just banging out new tricks left and right. And and it's not, it's it's weird because it's like, it's it's kind of like a juggler that finds some crazy new technique. You're not going to notice it, right. right? Only a hardcore juggling crowd is going to understand the nuances of what he's doing. And so it was a limited audience for for how I shifted, but I it made me super happy. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.